This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. NIT predicts Medicare reform fight in 2017, based on Democrats? By Ed Morrissey. How likely will a fight to restructure Medicare from its single payer model to a premium support system take place in 2017? The New York Times' Robert Pair predicts a showdown between Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi almost as soon as the seats in the House of Representatives fill up after the new year, based on what House Republicans are supposedly promising. There's only one thing missing from Pair's report, however. Donald J. Trump once declared that campaigning for substantial changes to Medicare would be a political death wish. But with Election Day behind them, emboldened House Republicans say they will move forward on a year's-old effort to shift Medicare away from its open-ended commitment to pay for medical services and toward a fixed government contribution for each beneficiary. The idea rarely came up during Mr. Trump's march toward the White House, but a battle over the future of Medicare could roil Washington during his first year in office, whether he wants it or not. Who are these emboldened House Republicans saying they'll prioritize Medicare reform in 2017 and fight Donald Trump to get it? It's difficult to say, because Pear doesn't quote a single one in his report. Pear does manage to find quotes from Democrats begging for such a fight, such as Joe Donnelly in the Senate and Pelosi in the House. Pear also quotes a consultant opposed to the House GOP proposal, a health lawyer from an advocacy group, and two seniors who are terrified and scared to death of Republicans. However, Pear oddly cannot find one emboldened Republican to quote. All Pear manages is a few verses of the Republicans say Diddy. That's enough to make a sensible reader go HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM